Hello and welcome back to Dew News. I am your host, the King of Dew, and right now I am taking a look at how many ether I need to purchase a Lambo. And uh, taking a look here, looks like uh, Lambo is the most affordable price. I mean, you can kind of get in at about two hundred thousand dollars. So um, it goes without saying, guys, I'm holding. All right, I'm definitely holding. Goes without saying. All right, so to, uh, hopefully no one panicked today when it got real low, because um, it's already creeping back up, going creep, creep, gonna creep back up, and it's gonna get back up uh, before you know it. So um, it's good to have this correction. We really, really needed today. It kind of got crazy. I kept waiting for it and waiting for it, and then I forgot all about it. Like it literally was like, well, every day is green. Um, that's just how life is. Uh, so. Uh, but I already did a market update, so we're not going to talk about that. But that is in the news. If you care about the news, you should know that the market's down uh, pretty significantly. The reason is is because, um, well, the 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 most likely reason that's out there, the theory is uh, today, um, Bitmain, big wigs over at Bitcoin, essentially threatened a hard fork uh, to create two separate chains, and uh, that is not making people happy. And people vote with their money. Um, we already know the flipping is already happening, and man, I, some people flipped hard. Uh, some people flipped so hard they flipped out to fiat today. So, um, kind of crazy what's going on there. But let's get to the real news. The real news, people, is that the Queen of Dew has arrived. The Queen is with us now on Steemit. Um, my wife uh, has uh, started posting on Steemit. And uh, you guys should go check it out. Her first post exploded, uh, which is fantastic. Um, help her out. She's it's she brand new account. She has no weight, nothing. So go over there uh, to Steam it. The my link down below. If you click Steam it, if you go to mine, you'll actually see uh, the post. I re-steamed it, so you can upvote her. Um, and uh, make sure you follow me, and make sure you follow her as well, and let's sh show some love and show some support. Um, she's going to be bringing some really fantastic, positive uh, content to the platform, and uh, which is fantastic. So make sure you guys go do that for the queen. She really appreciates appreciates it, um, and so do I. So do I very much. Um, and all this is new to her. She technically earned her first cryptocurrency. Like yesterday was historic, right? Um, for her, she doesn't even really understand. I don't even know if she's gone and checked her account, guys. She, like, did it before she went to bed. I don't know if she knows how much she made. And so it's really exciting. So sneak over there, and let's get her as much steam as possible. Let's let's really inspire somebody new to not just steam it, but to also just cryptocurrency in general. Um, I think it's for a good cause. What she's doing is going to help a lot of people. Um, and uh, I think uh, it, it's a lot more positive focus than what I'm doing here. Um, so if you guys um, want some more positivity in your life, make sure you give her a follow, um, and she's gonna she's gonna bring it. Um, she's awesome. So love you, babe. I I love you too, crypto mom. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Anyhow, um, moving on. Um, I have fantastical news for the world. This epic moment. King of Dew dot ETH. Is mine. I did win it, guys. I did win it. Uh, the King of Dew is mine. Um, it's very unfortunate. Not every wallet can send to it. But if you guys would like to donate, that's why I didn't put it down below. I'm going to wait a little while till wallets work properly. I don't want to confuse new people, right? I don't want someone to go into their Exodus wallet and be like, I can't send the King of Dew a dollar. And uh, Well, not a dollar. I don't want no dollars. I want I want some, some, some cryptocurrency. I can't do it, right? They can't do it because um, it just doesn't it just doesn't work. Uh, you know, they safeguard it to make sure people don't type in something on accident to the best of their ability. So when you do dot um, eth or whatever, um, it just doesn't work on like wallets like Exodus and things like that. So, um, but if you want to, if you want to be the first person to um, try it out, feel free to send it. Just feel free to to test it even like i don't even just not even a penny of ether just to see what it's like to to to, to try it out um confirm that it works look at the blockchain transaction um, i'm fascinated by it myself i was doing that myself so um 
kingofdo.eth, guys, um, is the official wallet of this channel now. Um, and hopefully um, we get some wallet updates out there so people can donate from any wallet. Um, and I can get it down in the description below. So, moving on. Um, in real news, <laughs> come on, that's the real news, right? Um, Securities and Exchange Commission um, is basically officially looking into ICOs. And uh, it's very interesting. Um, basically, it's coming, guys. Like, the, you know, there, there's a lot of money in what they're, they're, they're really, really concerned about. And they should be. They're as concerned as I am about how people are being so dumb with their money. These ICOs are stupid. It's too much money being raised. Things are overvalued. Um, markets are clearly manipulated. Um, you know, just look at BAT. All of it is owned by like about 100 people. Like 99% of it is owned by 99%. Uh, or, or I mean, 100 people own 99% of it. Sorry. Um, BAT is super... Uh, super uh, manipulated and I don't understand why people don't quite get that yet um, but man whoever got into it they, they made a pretty penny uh, if you're able to get in right so um, yeah I mean basically ICOs are surging like crazy right now people are trying to figure out what to do about it um, in the government so just something to keep your your eyes peeled on um, so this was actually really fascinating too. I uh, kind of switching gears. I just want to have a little fun on this episode today. We're gonna have a little fun. I'm bringing this over here. This is hilarious right here. Here um, is uh, Dennis Rodman. I found this on Steam. I want to give credit to, uh, to Crypto Central for sure. Uh, is, I mean, I, I couldn't find this photo anywhere else. So uh, kudos to you. I gave you the best upvote I could um, for sure. Um, but. Potcoin. So here's Dennis Rodman. If you don't know who Dennis Rodman is, he's a famous basketball player who played for the Chicago Bulls, won some championships with Michael Jordan. And uh, he's walking around North Korea with uh, Potcoin on his chest, and the price doubles. So um, I'm imagining that he may have made a little money on this himself, and um, I find it super fascinating uh, to see some celebrities in this space. Um... Yeah, it's just fascinating. So I just thought that was kind of funny because if you know Dennis Rodman at all, um, just kind of silly. So I'll leave up leave that up there for you guys to enjoy and laugh at. Um, in other news, um, Morgan Stanley um, is basically getting lots of phone calls about how to get into the crypto space, right? Um, I've had people call me and say, hey, King of Dew, um what what do i need to tell my broker to, to like get my money into this stuff like what do, what am i supposed to be doing and um well you kind of can't most places you can't um it's coming we'll eventually be able to but um morgan stanley basically did a public address essentially stating that uh, they're not doing it and in order for them to do it they want uh the master key is what they said. I don't even know what that means. Um, basically, the, what they're saying is they want to have full control of it. Morgan Stanley does. Classic. Um, classic, but also super ignorant to say. So whoever spoke on their behalf does not know the technology. Uh, the people who is told the person to speak on their behalf probably knows even less they probably just got sick of all the phone calls and said, well, somebody that knows something about the Bitcoins, get out there and talk about the Bitcoins and the things and the Ethereum things and the Ether things. And uh, they came out there and they made themselves look so stupid and ignorant. Um, I really hope that if you have any banking relationships with people that, that are that removed from society as a whole and... Uh, you know, I would hope that you make your decisions around that and, and vote for people who are making good decisions in our financial space. Because there's no master key, guys. That's the whole point of this. This is not how, this is not how it works. Um, the other thing, this is, this is proof that they have no idea what they're talking about. After they said that they want the master key, they said, 
we want to be able to see all transactions. Isn't that exactly what this the whole thing is? Like, now there are some privacy chains out there, right? But like, uh, that's kind of the whole point of what's happening right now is this public um, blockchain that is so secure you can show people everything on it and it doesn't matter. It's crazy. So Morgan Stanley literally has no idea whatsoever what cryptocurrency is. They are completely in the dark. I would not have any of my finances, if possible, associated to that company. Um, and I would um, be looking elsewhere in a really big hurry because if they're that ignorant about something that is very relevant to their livelihood in this space, in this financial world, um, they're, they're straight up ignoring it clearly. I don't understand. Anyhow, I got a really good laugh out of it. So I hope you guys do too. Um, there are going to be some epic failures, epic losers. There will be um, so many CEOs, CFOs, all the way from the top to the bottom in major banks and corporations that lose their jobs because they just decided to say, yeah, we're not going to do that because like, it's not all the things we want. And that's pretty much what they said. And they really just made a fool of themselves. They're getting hilarious, uh, hilarious negative press right now um, on it, and they deserve it. Uh, it's well deserved um, for sure. So, okay, so that's Morgan Stanley um, in the news. Um, also, I've got um, just one last thing, uh, two little things. Uh, you guys know that we have the summit going on, right? Um, we got the Global Blockchain Summit in China right now. Really big deal. So uh, it's just starting over there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, day two would be starting right now. I get really confused with the days and what the date is um, as we go around the world. But um, basically, uh, it's a, you know, markets open not that long ago over there. Um, and what we're going to be looking for today, what you want to keep your eyes peeled for is some news on NIM that they are um, supposed to be there speaking. They do have a presence there. I actually wanted to show you guys um, a couple pictures from the team over there. My good friends on the NIM team. Um, I actually don't know any of them. I just like to pretend they're my friend. Um, and uh, here they are, some of the NIM dudes. And here's their booth, in case you just want to see what they're up to. And... Uh, Nothing spectacular, but anyone in business knows that this is this is how it works. It doesn't matter who you are. This is what you're getting, uh, unless you're going to go crazy. But it's just not that type of uh, not that type of industry yet or conference, guys. Um, don't forget, we just crossed 100 billion. So this is this is looking like a pretty nice little conference for the size. Looks like he's got some ladies. Look at this guy. Guys, you want to own Nim right now? This guy owns Nim. You see what's happening here? I don't see, I don't see a, a man within sight. This guy is rolling right now in the ladies, um, and he's rolling in the Nim clearly. Okay, <laughs> I just, sorry, I just noticed that just now. Like I did not notice that before, and I'm like, hmm, ladies everywhere. Good for them. Good for those guys. Good for the uh, guys on the Nim team that made that trip. Um, and are there. I uh, wish you the best. And um, let us know about some Catapult right while you're there. Catapult's going to be amazing, guys. It's hard to explain, but essentially um, it's going to make it a lot more Ethereum-like in nature. That's the best way I can put it, and that's why it's really exciting. And once the details are released, we're going to want to uh, keep our eyes peeled on NEM. Um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that NIM is, you know, the uh, next Ethereum, the replacement. I'm not trying to predict markets or anything like that. Um, this is just what's exciting right now. Okay, we're talking about a, uh, a top five blockchain, um, very very well known. Lots of companies are out there testing it, using it. 
we got to stay aware of the other blockchains, guys. Um, you know, a lot of you are invested in this space. A lot of you aren't. A lot of you are learning. NIM is one that you always want to try to keep an eye out for because it's rare that we get any good solid news because everything uh, tends to be in Japanese and that's where the team is uh, located out of. So a lot of things don't translate well as well as Ethereum because Vitalik speaks the two biggest languages, English and, uh, well, I'm not going to say the biggest, but, you know, English and Chinese uh, covers the majority of the markets that are in this, right, that, at least financially. So, but NIM does not. So NIM sometimes gets uh, a little uh, confusing for a lot of newcomers. Um, they do, they have started doing some new marketing soon, so hopefully NIM, uh, you know, we can start seeing some more content translated. And uh, so just be on the lookout for that, guys. We may see an announcement overnight um, here on in the United States while we're sleeping. Um, but be, be on the lookout for some news. Uh, we are expecting Catapult this summer. That's the plan. And Catapult's a big update for NIM, so just be, be looking out for that. That being said, the rumor that I heard today, and I'm pretty sure it's factual, pretty sure this is real, is that Vitalik himself has decided not to attend the event. Not sure why. It could be personal reasons, and no one should look into that deeply at all. Um, however, he is the savior of Ethereum, and I think there's going to be a lot of people disappointed, and a lot of people upset or confused, especially if you're new. Um, guys, they're very transparent. Um, you can actually uh, listen li like basically live to their phone calls, they post them online, and their business calls, um, conference calls about their projects. And we all know that um, you know Metropolis keeps getting pushed back, and they're taking, and then they're trying to be safe about it. Um, and uh, guys, we need them to go slow and steady, desperately, desperately. One line of code, one line of code that is off could potentially wreck everything everything okay like it's not to be taken lightly i was thinking about this actually um and you know i hope vitalik decided to go on vacation because he needs a vacation can you imagine trying to be in his shoes that you created something where all these people, will, well, you've made people millionaires, and then you have other people who are counting on you to make them millionaires still, they're not yet. There's people who have put their entire life savings into this stuff. I wonder if he loses sleep at night. I'd love to interview him and get real personal with him because in all of his interviews, uh, obviously he's, he's a genius and a very smart individual and almost like not relatable it's hard to relate with in a way but when it comes to the our savior vitalik um i want to know what it's like to be in his shoes to have the pressure you know i often think what's keeping him going when he has that much ethereum classic and ethereum um sitting in his wallets i don't know what keeps him going so strong and i like to think that that's it I'd like to think that he's a good human being and he's trying his best. But it also really scares me a little bit when he doesn't show up to things like that. I get a little nervous. Is he hiding for some reason? Is something wrong? Is that why the markets are responding a little bit heavier on Ethereum today? I don't know. I don't know. But let's not look too deep into it. Um... I have a lot of a lot of faith in the team and what they're doing and the way that they're being transparent about it. So let's not get caught up in uh, conspiracy theories. All right. So that it, that is it for me today, guys. I've really appreciated your time. As always, please uh, thumbs up and uh, definitely on Steam it. The upvotes mean the world to me. It is so awesome. I can't believe uh, that platform. It keeps blowing my mind. I appreciate you guys over there. Um, we broke 200 followers, we hit that goal, and we smashed through it. Now we're just really rolling. It seems like every time we hit this breakthrough number, we just go flying by it. And uh, it was a struggle to get to 200, but now we're just flying right by it. So I appreciate that. 
So give me a follow over there, hang out with me, uh, leave comments there, leave comments here as well, um, and uh, thumbs up and share and uh, subscribe if you like this type of news, if you like what you heard. The best way to keep getting it is just to uh, subscribe. You can also uh, check out my page and read all the videos on there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I uh, really appreciate your time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. And I'll see you next time.